excited. Oh, I'm so excited. We are so excited. We are going to Universal Studios, both parks in one day, and we are gonna try to do everything we can. By the way, my name is Chris, and this is Amanda. You're watching Pro Park Pass. So today is both parks, one day. Right now we're down in the like city walk, the downtown shopping district, walking through here, and then we're gonna go right into the parks and have a great time. You guys, we're gonna show you everything we can, all the food, merchandise, and attractions. You guys, I can't express this enough. We are completely obsessed with Universal Studios Orlando. Like, it's an obsession. Everything about it is larger than life. It's loud, it's fun, it's, it's exciting. They have Harry Potter, of course. And we're gonna teach you the best ways to save and get the absolute best deals that we've secured so you can come visit this awesome park for yourself. Let's go, I'm so Let's do Slytherin, Ravenclaw, let's go. All right, are you guys ready? So I have a lot of questions for you today, but first things first, we are starting at Universal Studios Orlando. There's the two parks, the Islands of Adventures over there. We're gonna be hitting that later. But I wanna know, where would you guys start? Which one? Universal Studios or Islands of Adventure? We're choosing this one. Welcome to Universal We're just opening the park. Florida. Woo! The studio are now open. Lights, camera, action. Oh, guys, I am freaking out. So we just got here at Universal Studios. And remember, we're trying to do both parks in one day. I'm like, how are we going to do this? Well, we get here and we got a little surprise. Um, we are going to be doing the VIP tour here at Universal Studios. Now, the VIP tour is they're gonna, it's like, the, oh, it takes you to like the front of the, all the attractions, the lines, you get a tour guide. It's very affordable. And they have what's called a shared option. So instead of, if you don't want to just pay for just you and your family, you can say, hey, we'll share it with another family yeah. and they'll split the cost for you guys. It is very affordable. It includes, we're actually gonna go grab a little bit of breakfast right now. And then we're gonna go through, we have a little tour guide. I am kind of freaking out. This is like, ah, I know. tour guide, My baby. My heart is so happy. This is awesome. I mean, there are so many awesome ways to do Universal, but if you're like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the VIP tour. This is a fantastic way to do it. And I can't wait to show you yeah. guys. Now you, you might be asking, well, what is it? What's a VIP tour cost? It's variable. Depends on pricing of the seasons. It, it's Season. yeah. So you can do shared tours. You can do shared. Yeah. But it, it's, it's very affordable. So we're okay. gonna show you what it's like to do a VIP tour. Let's do this. All right. So the park just barely opened right here. This is Mel's diner. Ha ha ha. We are at Universal Studios Orlando and we'll be going to Islands of Adventure later on today. But like this is the horror makeup show. Super fun, very funny. Uh, it's, it's a little bit gory, so if you have little ones, you can kind of be aware of that, but it is a lot of fun. And we are now gonna go off, this is our little tour group here. We're gonna go off and grab some breakfast and then we're gonna go and I'll show you our whole experience of the whole day here. It's going to be just a really magical day here. So this is included, this is the VIP breakfast that's included. And so we're just gonna grab some breakfast here. And I wanna show you this, like, like it's just a lot of food here. Ha <laughs> ha! The chef's special. What? It looks amazing. Hey you guys, I can't handle this because Amanda just put on a Ravenclaw hat and she looks so cute. <laughs> Thank you. We're ready for the day. We are ready for the day. So we are literally just got done eating uh, breakfast. And we are now gonna be walking through and going to ride Hagrid's. Now Hagrid's right now is a 135 minute wait. And even their express pass doesn't allow you to skip the lines, but the VIP tour does. Yeah, so we're gonna go so through. on Hagrid's, the express pass does not work for that and Velocicoaster. It does work on everything else. So that is why the VIP tour right now is so super valuable. We're uh, we're, I'm in shock I'm in that we're, shock. Doc, that we're doing this. I want to say I'm thank shocked. you for Universal Studios for allowing this amazingness to happen. This is so exciting. So thank you so much. We love Universal. We are so excited to be invited out here and be treated to a VIP tour. We cannot even handle this. So, and you can experience the VIP tour yourself. Like this is yeah. available for everyone. There, this is the Transformer ride, Optimus Prime up there, and we were walking through a whole bunch of cities. Keep in mind, it's kind of set up like a movie studio. We're going through, we just in Hollywood, we're going through New York, Chicago, all the way to London to catch the Hogwarts Express that'll take us over to Hagrid's. Here at Universal Studios Orlando, they have two Harry Potter lands. They have Diagon Alley, and they also have Hogsmeade, where Hogsworth is. And we are gonna be going into Diagon Alley. And if you didn't know Diagon Alley was there, you would you literally would walk, walk right past it. Yeah, like you would miss it. <laughs> I was with it's my so one friend, magical. and he literally did not even see. Like it, Rob, he didn't even know. He's like, wait, right he walked right past <laughs> it. I was like, it's right there, dude. It's right hey, there. And I'm excited to show you guys because even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, you can appreciate 
these lands because they are so immersive. They are so, the attention to detail is so well done. Even if you know nothing about Harry Potter, you can still appreciate the lands because they're amazing. And the story kind of tells itself as you go. But uh, we're, I mean, we're ready. Look at me, a little Ravenclaw. <laughs> okay, so this is a replica of what's called the King's Cross Tube Station in London. And here we are walking. And we get a, since we're doing this VIP tour, we're walking through the exit. This is our, this is our tour group right here in front of us. And they're walking us right onto the train. All right, we're just about ready to board the Hogsmeade Express. Taking we're, us over. We're at platform nine and three quarters. So where we're going is my favorite place at Universal. Here we go. She just, just boarded. You're gonna you're heading off to Hogsmeade. You go to your school? This is, I'm going to school. I'm ready for school. I'm ready for the day. I've got my uniform on. I needed help tying my tie. She, <laughs> she <nervous>. did. <laughs> <laughs> on a scale from one to ten, you know how much of a Harry Potter fan I am? I'd say nine and three quarters. <laughs> And here we are, guys. We are entering into Hogsmeade. It's spectacular. It's beautiful, and it is a lot of fun. This now, this this is faux snow is on the roof. It's there year round. And look at this. There's the train. We're getting ready to go in. Butterbeer walks back. There's the top of the castle. That's that. That's Hogwarts. And here we go, guys. Let's have some fun together. This is the entrance to Hagrid's. It's a two-hour wait. Um, but we're gonna take this VIP entrance to take us right through and we're gonna walk through the exit. So this is a this is a, a really big bonus of going on a VIP tour is this is the only way you can skip the line at Hagrid's. Even the express pass you can't, but here you can. And so uh, we're walking through. This is kind of exciting. I'm really excited and I'm glad to be able to take you guys along uh, with us. And just while we're doing this real quick, I just want to say something. I want to say how amazing you are and how wonderful you are. I don't know if you hear that enough or if people tell you that enough. I want you to tell you that I think that you're awesome. No matter if you're going through a little bit of a hard time or a little bit of a rough patch, it's going to get better. And the reason it's going to get better is because you are amazing. You are awesome. And don't forget that. I just want you to know that. And I just feel like that uh, you need to probably hear that. Everybody needs to hear that a little bit more in this world. And so I just want you to know how awesome you are. You make the world a better place. All right, let's continue on to this VIP tour. You're, you're a VIP. We just got done and they're letting us go again. It's so good. It's too good. It's so good. It is too good. Like, I kind of got emotional. Loading, there she is, loading. Oh my gosh, that ride is so good. I'm gonna do it, like, and you, I'm like, and then you're like going, and then like, I was like, but you gotta be careful because then you're like, oh no, but then you guess. So let me tell you how the ride goes. First, you get in the, you get in the motorcycle, right? You ride along, you're going really fast. Then all of a sudden you see like a blast and a skewer. You're like, no, look out. And then all of a sudden you go on, you see Fluffy Dog, and then you're like, what? And then it's the wrong direction, guys. The wrong, and then it also drops, and then you go in, and you're like, what is going on? And then you're like, I can't go any faster. But then it goes faster, and then all of a sudden, unicorn. What's next on the docket? Well, there's Amanda. She's walking along looking at stores. We are going right here to Hogsmeade. Nice. I mean, saw so Hogsworth to see the Forbidden Journey. There it is, guys. I feel a little bit emotional right now. There's just something about being here, being here at a theme park with your friends, with your loved one, with your family, making memories. It's reminding me of memories that I made with my family. Now this wasn't here when I came as a kid, but I did come with my family and I'm just feeling like all the feels and emotional, you guys. Like life is hard, but if you're able to come experience this, make these memories, like that's what it's all about. I just feel like I'm gonna cry. And there's Hogsworth. And here's the entrance, guys. Goes right in there. Look at that. <laughs> Just got done. It's a very good ride. Very scary. There's a uh, so if you have little ones, be aware of that uh, there's like spiders and dementors. The theming though is so good. But and, and some people get a little motion sick on that ride. But oh man, it's fun. I loved it. Love it. <laughs> All right, you guys. This is the most joyous day. Joyous. Enjoyable, I don't know, but we got a little butter beer. I got a little butter beer.
Jeff, what is this butterbeer goodness? <laughs> it is a sweet <laughs> beverage. It's non-alcoholic. It rem it's reminiscent of shortbread cookies and butterscotch. Shortbread cookies and butterscotch. Non-alcoholic. You can get it in normal, frozen, hot, butter, uh, in fudge, and ice cream. And the ice cream's amazing. Better than the fudge? I think so. Oh, oh that's big it. words, <laughs> big words. All right, so I got two. This is just normal. Peaky's out because they're classy. This is frozen, kind of like a little bit of a slushy. And they taste different. The frozen's better. What are they? Normal and frozen. Hop in there. Butter beer. Butter beer. Butter beer. Butter beer. Yeah, this is Gavin. Yes. Gavin, Gavin. What am I drinking? You have a frozen butter beer. You have a normal butter beer. Is that the difference? Yes. And which do you pick? Frozen, but it's not as good as the hot. I like the frozen. I like the topping on the frozen. So, yeah. Oh, it, they, Pinky, both pinkies out because I'm, I'm classy. <laughs> Here comes Amanda. Yay! <laughs> she just got done doing the VIP. <laughs> All right, we're about to go Velocicoaster. You know, dinosaurs. <laughs> All right, we just got done with the Velocicoaster. Oh, that ride is very intense, very fun. Now that ride, you cannot skip the lines. Like there's no like no express pass, unless you're doing the VIP tour. Then they take you through, they have a special entrance you go through, takes you right to the front of the attraction. And wow, wow. I'm spraying the word wow with my mouth. Wow. There it goes guys, it's such a fun ride. Here's Amanda, that's Jeff, our, our tour guide. And just to walk us through all the places here. Wow, this and this roller coaster is so intense. All right, let's continue on. Okay, we're hopping back on the train. We're heading back to the other side, and we're gonna go to Diagon Alley and get some lunch. They are now taking us to do the Transformers ride. So this will be kind of fun. I'm excited about this. Wow, I've never seen that. Transformers right now is a hundred minute wait. One hundred minutes. It's an hour and forty minute wait. Uh, but because they're doing this VIP, they take us right to the front, so, wow. All right, we got done with Transformers, babe. What do you think? I love it. I love it. I love it. And there's a, a guy in there, so I don't know much about Transformers. I know Bumblebee because, you know, he listens to music. He's adorable. He's great. There's, like, that guy in there that I just got such a kick out of. I had to ask Chris who it was. It's the guy that drops in. He's, like, just dropping in, and then he jets it's away. It's Starscream, the number two bad guy. And she's like, she's like, I love that guy. I love that guy. I love that guy. Oh wow, we just had a really good lunch. Now we're gonna go into see ET, which I don't know if you guys know this. That is Amanda's one of her biggest scares in the world. Amanda loves horror films, but the thing that scares her more than anything in the world is ET. Kind of scarred her when she's a kid, I guess. So we're gonna go do ET, and then I don't know even know. We're just we're just like we're just clicking along and having a good day today. So let's go to ET, guys. E oh, Elliot. Oh, you guys, my favorite performers are coming through right here. The Blues Brothers are coming through. Here they are. Yes! Woo! Oh, there they are. There's Elwood. Hi, guys. Oh, my gosh. Can't even handle that. Ah, uh, here it is. E.T. That stands for extraterrestrial. Well, he's a little visitor that comes to our planet, gets left behind, and forms a friendship with Elliot. And they gotta get him home again. E.T. And there's Amanda. <laughs> no, nightmare fuel, you guys. All right, we just got off of E.T. It's like, it's a time capsule right out of the 80s. It's like a ride, it should never be changed. I think it's also kind of scary because you also hear this really weird tri trip of like, what is going on? Magdal, thank you. Welcome home. Now, if you want, we did a whole secret build of this ride as attraction. Everything you need to know, click here or here or here. Amanda actually did it. So, yeah, so yeah. Kim and I did a whole secret surveil. Everything you need to know. So, about everything you want to know about, about, about this attraction, watch the video somewhere around here. I highly recommend it. There's a lot of cool facts in there. All right, guys, we are now going to go do Men in Black <laughs> Alien Attack. But before we get there, we got to walk through like this, uh, this Springfield. That's right there. That's a train from Back to the Future Part 3. 
and then we walk right in here to Springfield and right through Springfield will take us around into the Men in Black alien attack. Springfield here at Universal Studios Orlando is much bigger than the one they have in California. It is quite large. Very fun. We're just moving along right through Springfield, guys. There's, Sorry, we had to go show there's you Amanda the right video. there. This is the Cookie Mart. And then moving right over here, we've got the, this is the attraction, this is the Simpsons ride. It's the same one they have in California, but they also have Krang and Kodos. And they have a whole bunch of attractions, like um, games to play, carnival games. And then straight ahead right there, that is the Men in Black alien attack. All right, so we just learned something. We're doing this VIP tour. We're gonna to do the Men in Black. Now, Men in Black and the ride, they go through uh, what is called the pre-show area, and they just kind of walk above and right through it. One of the coolest things about being on a VIP tour is they actually let you down onto the set where the aliens are, where they have Bob and his, and his uh, twin brother. Oh, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and we can go down there. You can take photos down there. You can uh, do video down there. You just can't touch the aliens. This is the only way you can get down on that set floor is by taking this VIP tour. So we're going to show this to you. This is actually my first time on this attraction. I've only skipped it. Like I go over, I get a pink donut, and then you know wrap around to go on a diagon alley or whatever. So I've never been on the Men in Black alien attack before. I'm so excited. Hey, what were you saying? <laughs> well, I just cannot recommend this VIP tour enough. This is incredible. They have been amazing. The guides have been amazing. Skipping the lines, going right to the front, and now this special experience. Let's do it. Men in Black, Alien Attack. Are we alone? Find out. The universe and you. We're going to, there's Amanda, leading the way, the VIP tour. Alien scum, how to zap them. Many aliens are vulnerable to zapper blasts, and you have to aim for the head and shoulders, and they require more than one hit. What? All right, guys, so this is our VIP tour. This is where the normal line is. They go across there, but we get to come down here on this VIP tour and you get to check it out. Look at this. You actually get to see the aliens up front and close. It's the only way to do this is taking the VIP tour. What? Oh my gosh! Look at them. How cool is that? I can't even handle this. Oh, you start talking, it's like, <laughs> wow. You guys, they have like this little area. Check it out. It's a little sitting area. Yeah, let's take a seat. Try it. <laughs> Look at the playing cards on the table. Just sitting down. Nice seat. Uh-oh, we got a warning. We got a warning, guys. Oh. There's Amanda, working hard, babe. We're hardly working. <laughs> look at this. Ah! Dave, look at this. It's like Inception, we're doing this. <laughs> And if you wanted to see like a little bit closer, oh my gosh, check it out. There's Kane or Kronos. Kronos. Good grief, guys. It's a Simpson Easter egg right here. Wow, look at all this fun stuff. Amanda's filling out her registration form. What am I? Extra galactic alien, analid, paraloxian, or doll dunian? I think a doll. I notice on the desk there's all these hidden little things. This is Bumblebee. This one here is Optimus Prime. So they all have different ones. You only can come on this floor if you do the VIP tour. How cool is that? Love it. 251,000, that's right, quarter of a million points. Ooh. That's right. Woo so there's a secret at the very end. You see uh, uh, Agent J, looks like Will Smith. He's talking to you. And right at the, at the end, he's done talking. He says, push the red button right now. You have a little red button. And the first one in your row to push it gets 100,000 points. And so 
I happen to be the first one to push that button. I got that extra hundred grand. There's, there's creature peeping out at us right there. And this is Sirius Black's house. You can see the darker brick there. And it's right above door number 12. That window opens up and creature will peep out at you. We're about to enter into Diagon Alley, which is just right over there. Okay, as we go into Diagon Alley, this is one of the coolest places here at Universal Orlando, but we need to talk about how you can come experience this and how you can save. So right now, this is super, super, super important. We need to talk, listen up. Right now, you can get two days free here at Universal Studios Orlando. What? Two days free? Woo! That's insane. And you really, really, really need those extra days because there's so much to see and do here. So when you purchase two passes using our link, down below from getaway today you are going to get two extra days free here to play and it's fantastic all right so you guys just make sure you understand it you buy two get two so you get four days so buy two get two you're gonna buy two days and you're gonna get two extra free days so you're gonna get four days down here at university Studios. click the link down below but you have to do this before february 1st of 2023 you have to buy it before then and then uh you can use it for the year but you have to buy it to get this buy two get two you gotta do that before february first of 2023 the link out. so do it right now get to get two free days place. and now we are entering into Diagon Alley check it out there's the Weasley wizardly wheezies straight there up ahead you got the green guys bank this is where you can get hot butter beer cold butter beer frozen butter beer all kinds of butter beer and it's just really cool right over here is the leaky cauldron and if you actually notice it is leaking the, the leaks down there and you see it's like dripping down there. So the leaky cauldron is another place you go eat at. This is just way fun to be here. Even if you're not a Harry Potter fan, it's amazing. You turn left right down there, you go down to Nocturne Alley, which is so cool. They're getting ready. There it goes. I don't know if you're able to see that fire, but it just blew right there. We are now going in the Gringotts uh, adventure. And because we're doing this VIP tour, they're having us go through the exit, we're skipping the lines, and it's right to the front. It's just, it's, I just can't believe how wonderful this VIP tour is. It's amazing. Now, if you're not doing the VIP tour, they do have lockers for you. You have to put all of your stuff in the lockers before you go and ride the ride. We're on our way to The Mummy. I love this attraction, and it just got like a big refurb refurb is that what they call it these days a refurb refurb a refurb so i'm excited to go on it because i haven't been on it since the refurb the refurb the refurb is smoother the burb -burb. smoother burb -burb. and faster and better burb -burb -burb. the mummy the mummy refurb <laughs> why was the little ghost crying i don't know why because he couldn't find his mummy <laughs> so sad. hey guys look if you look real carefully right there that is I'm pretty sure that's David from Fresh Bake right there. <laughs> I need to know, are you enjoying your time here at Universal Studios Orlando? I am, yes. It's fun, isn't it? Yes, this is great. We've been having a good time. We actually, we're going, tonight we're gonna go Leaky Cauldron and get some food, yeah, yeah. do that. And yeah. uh, you just rode Gringotts, yeah. first time. Yeah. And what'd you think? Uh, I mean, it's a great mix of screens and, and roller coaster. Uh, yes. Now I get, well, screens aren't my my. Are you, are you're not your you're not your forte. Right. But I, that worked for me. I mean, Did it, it did, work for you? Yeah, yeah. I feel like it's kind of a mixture of Indiana Jones and Big Thunder Mountain Railroads. Okay, uh, like, well, you mean in no, terms of the, the coaster? Or? Yeah, so the coaster. No screens on either of those, but yes, there is a right. little screen time. So yes. Uh, the, well, because they, I mean, they they stop you for a good minute yeah, in front yeah, of the screen, so. and they have a little exposition. The yeah. story goes on. It's awesome. but I, I thought it was a very creative, a very interesting way to try to do that. Yeah, uh, I especially like the way that it incorporated the, the actors of the elements from the movie yeah. into, the, into the show while still making it seem kind of original. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah, Bellatrix is in it. Voldemort's yeah. in it. Ron, Harry, uh, the twins. Yeah, the twins. They're all there. It's great. Ah. Well, what do you think, we, mommy? We survived the supreme ordeal. <laughs> that was a supreme ordeal. <laughs> I really actually liked it in a weird way. It's like a weird, twisted, terrifying ride. They have heat, they have all these special effects, and it's a full-on experience. So fire, if you like that, fire. yeah, like if you like that, like, kind of really fun, uh, scary, what's the right, what's the right description? Campy? Like, what's the right, it's, not, it's scary. Fun. Fun. It's, yeah, that's a whole yeah. experience. 
All right, and you guys, now we're gonna we're down here. We're gonna go see. It's called the Born Spunta Born Stuntacular. And I know you're a stunt show. It is the best stunt show I've ever been to. So much fun. Let's go in and uh, enjoy this. Okay, we just went through the, they take you through behind the scenes to get you here on this VIP tour. It's very fun. We're right at the front of the line. We're gonna go in and see the stunt show. This stunt show is incredible. All the stunt shows I've seen, it's my favorite. It's one of the best. It's got interaction of real stunts, movies. It blurs the lines between reality and what's really going on. It is a must-do when you come down here to Universal Studios Orlando. You have to do this. This is a must-do. Well, guys, it is 5.30 in the evening, and our VIP tour just ended. We just got done doing the Bourne uh, Stuntacular. That show is so amazing. It's a must-do. But the park doesn't close for another couple hours. I guess we found out that when you do a VIP tour, the ticket they give you has Express Pass, unlimited Express Pass, so you go to the front of any attraction and um, and still skip the lines. So we have a couple more hours. Amanda and I are thinking we're going to go back to uh, we're going we're going to go get a Hogsmeade Express again, and go back over and just kind of see some things and just kind of enjoy our rest of our evening and maybe uh, skip a couple lines. Babe, what do you think? Yes. And I need hot butter beer. I'm going to get some hot butter. Let's beer. get this some hot butter beer. Perfect day, you guys. I cannot recommend it enough. Like my mind is completely blown. Yeah. Like, now, Perfect. Again, we want to talk about this. Right now, there's a deal going on. If you click the link down below and you buy tickets to come to Universal Studios, you buy a two-day ticket, you're going to get an additional two days free. A buy two, get two. That's a B2, G2, I guess. Buy two, get two. And this is only going until February 1st of 2023. So if you're watching this after February 1st, then this offer is not going to be going on anymore. But you always will get the very best deals by clicking the link down below. If there is any specials going on, you click the link down below, it'll take you to the specials here. So that's the best thing you can do. Ah! All right, let's get to you on our day. Okay, actually, the best way to book is really to just do a direct phone call. It, the number is 1-855-GETAWAY. Tell them that we sent you. Say, Provost Park Pass sent me, and you are going to unlock the best prices and the best specials, whatever is going on with Universal at that time. But you have to tell them that we sent you. And if you book a trip to Universal, let us know. Or if you want to go to Universal, let us know in the comments below. Say, I want to go to Universal. We highly recommend it. And booking with us and Getaway Today gives you the best rates guaranteed. This day has been absolutely amazing. But the thing is, I have to say is, remember how at the very beginning of the video, we're like, oh, can we do both parks in one day? We, even at the VIP tour, we didn't get it all done. There are still so many things that we didn't get a chance to do. Um, there's the Incredible Hulk, the Spider-Man ride. And the Spider-Man ride here is absolutely stunning and gorgeous and fun. The Synthesis ride, and I mean, this is with the VIP tour and we were on a breakneck pace. So if you're gonna come down here, you're gonna definitely want to have at least two days and right now if you buy the two days you're gonna get the two extra days so i like, extend it out and have a lot of fun they have the volcano bay we're gonna be showing that in our next video there's a lot of things to do down here there's so much to do this one is way 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 bigger than the one in uh california it is massive i'm actually gonna catch the hogwarts express i'm gonna use my express pass i'm gonna catch the hogwarts express because i want to go over and see the spider-man attraction uh and and do that so wow breakneck pace let's keep doing it guys let's keep going so i just walked through springville there's the men in black i'm gonna go right up here i'm gonna go, go across this bridge right over here and that's gonna take me right over there to king's cross well the sun is setting right there it looks very pretty and that's where i catch the train that'll take me to islands of adventure where i can do spider-man all right here we are gonna enter into the king's cross this takes us into diagon alley we're going to go here into the King's Cross Station. I love that sound when they change the, they're upgrading the times. I love that. I want to be completely honest about this. When you think about Universal Studios, a lot of times you think, okay, I'll go to Disney, I'll just add on a day. Down here in Florida, you need more than a day. Uh, there's a lot to do here. And this could be a full vacation. And the link down below that we've been talking about, That'll get you the best deal. If you call, you can get that two days for two days. <laughs> buy two, get two. And they also get you the best deals on hotels here. So, which is pretty sweet. If you stay in any uh, hotel here at Universal Studios, they're going to let you in early. They have the, both parks open early. That's something. And if you stay at a Premier Resort, they'll give you this Express Pass included with your hotel key, which is sweet. Ah. Oh, there it goes, guys. It's a beautiful train. I love riding it so much. It makes you feel like you're part of the Harry Potter universe, like you really are going off to Hogwarts, be part of the magical worldly, the magical wizarding world. And there we 
There it goes. Now, you might be asking yourself, where is Amanda? By the way, I am now in Islands Adventure. I took the Hogwarts Express. It's just that easy to come all the way back over here. But you might be asking yourself, where's Amanda? Well, Amanda is actually filming another video right now. She's doing the top 10 tips, things that you must know before you come to Universal Studios. So she, so like, so if you're interested in coming to Universal Studios, that video will be coming out in the, either tomorrow or the next day, I think. And so make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so when Amanda's video comes out, you can watch that video. I always like it when Amanda does videos. It just, she's got such a good, uh, so good at this. All right, now let's see here. I am going this way over here to Jurassic Park and down to, I want to get into the Marvel area. So we go to Spider-Man and show you this. Now you might be asking yourself, well, how can they do it? How can they have the, how can they have the um, Spider, uh, the Marvel stuff here at Universal Studios? Isn't that under Disney? Yes, but a long time ago, <laughs> there was um, a contract agreement and anything east of the Mississippi, Universal Studios has a right to Marvel east of the Mississippi, as long as it's the cart, it's a comic book, not the Marvel movies. They can't use the movies, but they can do the comic book. So they have the Hulk here, they've got Doctor Doom, the Doctor Doom fall, they've got Spider-Man, and as, as long as it's based off of the comic book, uh, the comic books and not the movies, it's perfectly fine that you have it here at Universal Studios. So let's go and check this out because I want you guys to see how amazing this is. All right, so while I'm walking over to the Marvel area, there's some people that I'd like to thank. First off, I really would like to thank Universal Studios. I'd like to say thank you so much for inviting us out here and also for letting us have that amazing VIP experience. We didn't know we were gonna be having an experience that was a completely shock and surprise. And they kind of sprung that on us this morning and they're like, hey, by the way, blah, blah, blah. Thank you for that. And thank you for trusting us to showcase how awesome your VIP experience is. And it is amazing. I also wanna say a big thank you to Getaway Today for organizing this and making this, this whole thing happen. And lastly, I would like to thank you. I wanna say thank you. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Uh, we couldn't do this without you guys watching our videos and being entertained. I hope you find, I hope these videos sometimes make you smile or make you contemplate, think about different things or help you prepare for your vacation. Everything that you need to know um, to have a good time with your friends or family when you go to a theme park. So I wanna say thank you to you for watching. All right, I'm gonna walk into Seuss Landing and then the Marvel area. Let's do this. All right, we are entering into Seuss Landing. This is just a little fun area, a little slice of heaven if you have a little ones. They love it. Miles still loves it. He's, our son is six and it's just like, he just loves being here. They have this train that goes up and above and man, it takes you all around and it gives you a good eye view of the whole, the whole park area there. Really fun. This little area right here, this is the, uh, what is it? S Snookers and Snockers, sweet candy cookers, whatever that is. This is Miles' favorite. He just walks in there and his jaw just drops. He's like, oh my goodness, so fun. And it's just really cool area. All right, let's get into the Marvel area. I just wanted to turn the camera back on just kind of show because it's so pretty. There's a giant cat in the hat's hat. They got the, the little, what is that, carousel. And it's the one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. This just looks really nice. Okay, so now we're entering that green roller coaster there. Oh, there it goes, is the Incredible Hulk. And it is very fun. A little bit of trivia about that roller coaster. When it first opened up here in Florida, it uses a lot of electricity. So much so that the state of Florida was worried that it would put a strain on the power grid. So they required Universal Studios to have their own power source for the Incredible Hulk. So Universal has their own power source for this particular roller coaster. It's very cool. You go right at the top and you turn right on over. I'm gonna wait right here so you guys can see that when it happens. I think I hear it, here it comes. Yep, they're right on the top. Very fun coaster. Okay, so now we're walking into this Marvel area. You're gonna notice lots of characters that you see in Disney because they're owned by Marvel. But what you will notice, everything here is a likeness from the comic book, not the movies. So. Down that way, you've got, right, well, right up ahead, you've got Dr. Doom's Free Fall. There's the Fantastic Four. That was a comic book that I collected when I was a kid. Over there, you got the arcade. You got uh, Kingpin right up there. I'm gonna walk right down here, and there's the Spider-Man attraction. And this attraction is fantastic. Uh, you get to fight against the bad guys. You can see a lot of the bad guys. It's just really fun. 
and I think oh, there's, there's Xavier, Professor X, and uh, it is just, I think it's just a stunning attraction. It's quite old, actually, but even though it doesn't feel old, you watch, you go on Spider-Man and it's amazing. You walk down this way, that takes you to Dr. Doom's free fall right down there. There it is, Doom's, oh, ha, ha. yep, there it is. And then right here is a Spider-Man. I'm gonna go right here to Spider-Man because I want to do it. So I got this little express lane. I'm excited to check this out. There's J. Jonah Jameson. <laughs> we're in the Daily Bugle. As you go through, we're in the Daily Bugle. This is the newspaper that Spider-Man works at. He's a photographer. Check it out. This is the photographer. The photo photography room, a little red light. The reason it's red light is because when they use the process film, you see that Spider-Man down there, is that you can't, uh, the bright light would expose the film, so you have to use that special red light. They don't really, I don't know if they do that very much anymore. So, moving on into the next area of the office. This is a little safety video right before you get on. I'll let you know what you have to do. Oh my gosh. I have not been on that ride for a while. I forgot how good it is. It's amazing. It's exactly everything you want in Spider-Man. You, you, you flip in webs. I mean, you get swinging around the city. You get to fight the bad guys. You see the bad guys. And oh, amazing. Really loved it. Loved it. Oh, wow, guys. There's Wolverine. This is this cool. All right, so here's my plan. I got an idea what we should do. Okay, so I have to go back to the other park because we're going to be having dinner at the uh, Leaky Cauldron in Diagon Alley. Uh, but instead of taking the, Hog, the Hogwarts Express, I'm just going to walk out and then walk down there. It's just like a 10 minute walk, if that. And I'll kind of show you like the, the, some shops on the way there. I just, why not? We've got some time together. Okay, let's do that. Okay, just left. This is Islands of Adventure, the entrance right here. Just walked outside and I'm gonna walk down past this here, this Toothsome and then the Hard Rock Cafe. And then right down there, that little, that is the, uh, uh, that is the entrance to Universal Studios Orlando. And then if you look down there, you kinda can see it. That is the Hard, right there, my fingers pointing out. That's the Hard Rock Hotel. Uh, it's a whole um, amazing hotel that you stay there. And that gives you, if you stay there, you get premier access pass. Like, with your hotel key, then you get to skip the line of all the attractions. This is called Toothsome. They're gonna to be getting this at Universal Studios uh, Hollywood. It's coming in, this is Dessert Foundry. And I've never eaten there, but my friends have, my mom has, and they all tell me that it's amazing. Then right next you have the Hard Rock Cafe. And that's really, that's how fast, that was, Maybe five minutes, and I'm right here at the entrance of Universal Studios Orlando. I'm gonna walk in there, then we're gonna walk down and go to uh, the Leaky Cauldron. Did not take very long. So, when you come down to Universal Studios, you can get the park hopper ticket, or you get one park per day. I would recommend the park hopper ticket because if you don't have the park hopper ticket, you can't do the Hogwarts Express, which is really fun. So, I recommend doing the, um, the, the, the park hopper ticket. Yeah, it's just me. All right, so I want to show you a few more things. Right over here is called the Rip Ride Rocket. This roller coaster right over here it is huge, it's fast, and it's amazing. And you get to choose which songs you want to go on the when you, when you ride the ride. You get to choose which songs you want to listen to, and it's like you can listen to music, rock and roll, rap, country, blues, whatever you want. And it is so fun. Then right over here we have right over here we have Jimmy Fallon's uh, Race Through New York, which that's another thing. There's a lot to do here, guys. All right, let's head over to. Uh, Diagon Alley. And there she is, my beautiful bride. Hello, and she just got done filming her video yes. about the top 10 tips. Is yes. it 10 tips? This is a super like simple, straight to the point, everything you need to know, our top 10 tips for Universal Studios before you go. All right, so that'll be coming out maybe the next day or the day after, so, so soon. Yeah, this is like literally everything you need to know. It's just simple to the point, uh, walk and talk. It's kind of relaxing and I highlighted seriously my best tips. And one of these tips, I it like hurt me to tell you guys, what? but I love you guys so much. I told you, but oh, I went back and forth. Was like, a, a I don't deep know if cut. I just, yeah, I was oh. like, I don't know if I just share this. It's my favorite secret, but I told you guys because I give love us, you. Give us a hint. So we, uh, I can't. Oh, can't. It was hint. hard for me to share. 
But oh I love you guys, so please subscribe. That's like, you know, my trade off. I give you something really special, and then you can subscribe, and I appreciate it and love you forever. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go to Leaky Cauldron and get some eat. food. Yeah. Okay. That's right there. Right through there is the King's Cross. I guarantee your video is going to be amazing, guys. All right, let's go on. Oh, guys, we're entering into Diagon Alley at nighttime. It looks really good. And wow. Here we go. And right there is the Leaky Cauldron. This is the exit. And right over there, that's the entrance into the Leaky Cauldron. You guys, you guys, you guys. Amanda's thinking about getting her wizarding robes. Ravenclaw, it looks very good. It's my first robe. It's your first robe? I feel official now. Yeah. I really feel official. I mean, we've been coming here and I see everyone with their robes and I felt like, oh, you know, maybe I can't get one. She, the second she tried it on, she started smiling so broad. <laughs> but like, show the sleeves. Like, the, like inside, they're the blue. Oh, yeah. The blue on the inside. So, yeah, I'm Ravenclaw, Ravenclaw, so I get the blue one, but they yeah. have all of them. And then they the turn around so you see the, and it looks, yeah, it's got the blue there. It looks very good. I, I think if you want it, this I is do. it. I do you want, want it? it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's checking. We got it, guys. We got it. She's so happy with it. You guys, it looks so good. It's so funny. I am a full-grown woman uh -huh. walking around a theme park in a wizard robe. I know, but it's so and fun. And I'm happy as can be. It's so fun. It's so fun. We are now in the Leaky Cauldron. There's Amanda in her brand new robe, looking all kinds of good. And this is the this is it's different than the three broomsticks. So. Yeah, look at this, it looks very cool. Look at this giant cauldron. We just got done eating, we're walking outside and they're doing their show. It's right here, just pretty started, this water show. Wow, you guys hit that subscribe button. Check out my, look at this. So Amanda's done a whole video coming out, the top 10 tips you need to know about this. We're also gonna do a quick little video about Volcano Bay and then we're headed over to Disney and we're doing a bunch of videos at Disney. So make sure you have that subscribe button done. Just, yeah, do that. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you guys. We Thanks think you're amazing. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye bye. bye. Wow, you look great, babe. We went on a VIP tour today. It was super fun at Universal Studios. Did you know that you can buy two tickets and then get two tickets free? That's four days for the price of two days. That's amazing. Woo woo. Go Universal. Studios.